Envy, listen close, is a sorrow. It's a grief, it's an angst, even an anger and bitterness that someone entertains from another's well-being because of a view that my own excellence is diminished because of their superiority. They have something I want. They are something that I'm not. They're more beautiful. They're more talented. They have more followers on Instagram. So I despise them for it. And it continues. A condition which occurs when a person lacks another superior quality, achievement, or possession, watch this, and either desires that they have it or even wishes that the other had less of it. I would put before you this morning that envy, unlike almost all other sin, is absolutely no fun at all. Like so many sins, we do them because they're fun in the moments. You know, they're a grief to God's heart and they're an offense to others and they're damaging to our soul. We do them because they're enjoyable. But envy, no enjoyment at all. And so we see right away, logically, societally, that envy is truly only a cancer to our souls. We pray for the envious soul. And just in case you're like kind of zoning in and out, that would be you, okay? That's me. We're like, hey, who do we pray for? Because I'm used to praying for other people if we pray at all. I'm used to praying for other people. No, let's pray for our soul. God, why do I have such a lack of satisfaction in Jesus? Why am I so discontented? We pray for the envious soul and then we pray for the soul we envy. And, and just so we're clear once again, not like God make them have less, not those prayers. We pray for their success, specifically in the gospel. We pray for our soul, we pray for their soul. It's very hard to despise and loathe and envy someone when we are ardently praying for their gospel success. To stop, to consider everything in our hands that has been placed there by a good and gracious and loving Father. Yes, sir. To consider what is in our souls that has been placed there by the efficacy of the Holy Spirit and the redemption of Christ Jesus and to constantly be reminded of that, to consider this, to meditate on it, and to give things from it. Amen.